There are two main reasons that people get lost. The most common reason is that they're simply not paying attention to where they're going. The other reason is that they're not trusting things that do tell them the directions. Sometimes we get an idea in our heads, and there are stories about people who have thought that the compass just must be wrong, or broken, or that the creek was even flowing the wrong way. Unlike some animals, humans do not have an inherent sense of direction, and we need to depend on things outside ourselves to tell us which way is which. Interestingly enough, people are lost spiritually for these same two reasons. Many people just drift through life and are simply not paying attention to where they're going spiritually. Other people don't trust what God has told us about the way we should go. Like it says in Proverbs, there is a way that seems right, but in the end it's the way of death. If we keep in mind that all our directions are based on the rotation of the earth and sit down and think about what we would observe as the earth rotates, we should be able to figure out the directions. A good way to visualize what we will see, and to help us understand this, is to set up a shadow stick. To set up a shadow stick, find a relatively level piece of ground and smooth it out if you need to. Then get a straight stick, as straight as possible. It can be a little longer than this one. And set it up in the middle of your shadow stick area. Set it as straight up and down as possible. That'll give you the best accuracy. <clears throat> Once you've marked the shadow, be sure not to touch the shadow stick because even moving it slightly can throw things off. Then get another stick or a rock or something and mark the tip of the shadow. It's important to mark the tip of the shadow. That's your critical measurement there. And not just mark the shadow itself. Then just sit back or do something else while the world turns a bit. Depending on the time of year and the length of your shadow stick, you can get some visible results in 10 to 20 minutes or so. But with video effects, we're going to speed things up to show you what would happen in a couple of hours. Okay, let's slow things back down again and see what we've got. Notice the pattern of the marker sticks and the tip of the shadow from the shadow stick. How they're all kind of in a straight line. This line gives us a basic east-west line. Shadows marked through the middle of the day, as we have here, are the most accurate. A line drawn perpendicular to this east-west line gives us a north-south line. If the north-south line is drawn through the shadow stick itself, this can also be helpful in telling time. The sun moves 15 degrees every hour and when the shadow is on the north-south line, it would be the solar noon for that location. Simply figuring out the directions doesn't necessarily tell us which way we need to go. It just tells us which way is which. We need to practice directional awareness by keeping track of which way we are going and where we are from the beginning of the trip. An experience on a canoe trip illustrates this point. We had camped at A and were going up the river D. So we headed north to B and then turned east to C. However, when we got to the open water at C, the navigators for the day were confused. They thought we had started at E, and when we turned east at B, they probably thought we were at F. However, instead of the shoreline narrowing as we headed east up the river, we came to open water. Once they realized we had actually started out at A instead of E, everything made sense. So it is important to know your starting point and practice directional awareness from the very beginning and keep track of which way you are going and where you are the whole time. To help us do this, it is worth remembering that there are two basic methods people use to find their way. One is having a mental map. This is a mental picture of the landscape, 
and where things are in relationship to each other as if viewed from high above. The other is noticing landmarks. This involves remembering or marking objects along your route. If we are wise, we will make use of a combination of both of these methods, as sometimes one of them will work better than the other. Just remember to somehow always be keeping track of where you are and which way you are going.